Germany, 1483. A time of desolation and disease. Where the plague could wipe out entire towns in days. And a quarter of all children died before they were five. In this world, there was one great consolation. The church and its promise of heaven. This promise had made the church the most powerful institution on earth. Rich beyond counting, mightier than kings, but also corrupt and tyrannical. An empire that would be overturned by one man, Martin Luther. This is the story of a man swept from devotion to rebellion. Of a quest that would set old Europe afire spread revolution across nations, and unleash a voice of freedom that still resounds through the modern world. The year was 1505. A young German law student named Martin Luther was on his way to Erfurt, where he attended his university, when a violent thunderstorm struck up. The thunderstorm was so severe that Martin feared for his life. When a bolt of lightning struck near him, its force threw him to the ground, and the terrified Martin cried out a promise that if his life were spared, he would become a monk. His life was spared. Luther kept his bargain dropped out of law school and entered the monastery in Erfurt. Young Brother Martin dedicated himself to monastic life, to efforts to do good and to serve others. Yet peace with God escaped him. He devoted himself to fasts, flagellations, and long hours in prayer and confession. But the more he tried, the more aware he became of his sinfulness. To distract him from such thinking, his superior at the monastery ordered Martin to pursue an academic career. He was ordained to the priesthood, and in 1508, he began teaching theology at the University of Wittenberg. Eventually, the university made Martin Luther a doctor of theology. Due to these academic pursuits, Martin was forced to study the scripture as never before. Slowly, he began to understand many things that he once had been blind to. And eventually, the truth of the gospel dawned in earnest for him. The light broke through as Luther pondered Romans 1, 16 and 17, and saw the truth that God's own righteousness is imputed by grace alone, sola gratia, to weary sinners. The phrase in those verses that had once caused him such consternation and agony, the righteousness of God, now became for him, in his words, the very gate of paradise. With joy, Martin Luther now saw that salvation is the gift of God's free grace to be received by faith in God's promise to justify sinners through Christ's death on the cross. Salvation, he saw, was God's work from beginning to end. 